Welcome back to this series on the ICF core competencies. We are up to number eight, and I'm excited to bring to you today from Los Angeles, Jamie Tenzer. So Jamie is a mentor, a mentor coach, and she's gonna be helping us today with understanding a little bit more about this competency. So Jamie, why don't you go ahead, just say hi to, hi to folks and tell us really, what's your take? What's the definition of core competency number eight? All right, well, thank you. My name's Jamie. Hi, thanks so much for having me here. Uh, so creating awareness. I think that when I was thinking about this, um, what came to mind was connecting the dots. And I think that uh, what happens is that in coaching, coaches can support their clients in finding all those dots. And so the client can choose which ones they want to connect and how. And it's that finding all the dots that's really the creating awareness piece of coaching. So it involves exploration, it involves questions, it involves good listening, so it overlaps with a lot of the other competencies. Um, but, you know, that's, that's kind of my broad definition of that. Great. Um, so I think... Then I, I, one question I haven't been asking people uh, or asking mentor coaches is, is, you know, how does this fit in in a coaching session? Is this kind of like near the end of a coaching session, um, you start connecting the dots so that they can kind of wrap things up and, and go on their way? Or is this kind of a continuous throughout the coaching session? I'm really glad you asked that question because actually the, the connecting of the dots happens after the awareness is created. So the awareness is about what are all those dots? What are the things that I haven't been seeing? What are the new perspectives that I am now adopting? What are some beliefs that I might have had that I didn't realize? Um, so the exploration is really kind of the meat of the session. It's really um, the middle of the session, I would say, although it happens, everything happens all the time. but you know, um, it's really about exploring and giving your client a chance to unpack everything and take a look uh, so that then they can make some choices. Great. I think I, I kind of um, I kind of picture that now. So wonderful. Um, so maybe you can tell us now a little bit about when you're watching a tape or watching a coach, um, what does it look like when someone is really masterful at this? When, when someone is really masterful, there's a lot of allowing the client to think and to be in silence. So there's, you know, nice short questions uh, that really reflect that active listening and then space for, for the client to really um, look at and listen to themselves and what they've said and see what comes forward. That's when in that silence is when a client will say, ah, oh, I never realized, you know, that's creating awareness. I'm not a coach, as I meant, I might have mentioned, uh, probably mentioned along this series, but I, I work with coaches who use video. But um, this has been really eye-opening for me to go through this series to see um, essentially the better the coach, it seems like the less and less they speak. Um, so they're, they're creating a space, but there's not a lot I mean, I would guess that between the different, um, you know, ACC, MCC, PCC, uh, it seems like uh, the MCCs probably spend the least time talking in a coaching session because they have figured out how to be most precise with those questions, I guess. Yeah. And also are really comfortable in the not knowing. So one big piece of creating awareness is really allowing your client to not know. You know, uh, we as coaches don't have the answers for our clients. Now we're going to be with someone and supporting them as they sit in the not knowing, which is not a comfortable place to be. Um, and so I think the more masterful coaches get comfortable with that, that not knowing. I can definitely, definitely see that. So I want to flip it around now and I want to see like what's, you know, typical when someone's maybe not getting this so much. What's, what's happening in a coaching session when someone hasn't mastered this? I I would say maybe some assumptions. So the coach may make some assumptions and not um, not ask for clarity or uh, be curious. The coach may think they have the answers or they know you know a, 
a good way out of this challenge, whatever it is. Um, I think, you know, talking too much uh, in order to try to help your client um, because it can, you know, we like our clients. We, we don't want them to struggle. And sometimes there's a little bit of struggle, you know, and so um, for newer coaches or coaches who don't have as much experience, it might be about trying to get in there and fix it. Great. Well, let's let's continue along this theme of the, the, the ACC to PCC to MCC level. What do you as a mentor coach expect differently when you're looking at someone at the different levels? This is always hard, a little bit hard because there are no, um, the lines are a little blurry and there's so much that comes into, into play, but I'll give it my best shot. I, I would say that um, for an ACC coach, creating awareness is really going to be about how do we um, how do we support our client to solve this issue that they came in with? You know, it's going to be very uh, narrow. Um, I think a PCC coach will begin to push that out a little more and be exploring um, maybe some interrelated factors or issues, you know, kind of allow more time for exploration, but it still might be somewhat tactical or, you know, um, I think, and there's a range within ACC and PCC and MCC, but then at the MCC level, uh, I think creating awareness is really about exploring, you know, seeing this challenge as, um, a symptom kind of, of something larger. So let's work on this challenge, but let's use it as a jumping off point and really explore what's underneath it, what's around it, what's behind it. You know, what, what else can we learn about ourselves um, using this as a jumping off point, but it's not really just about addressing that issue. That helps me definitely start to understand um, I mean, to, to really to understand that, you know, when you're when you're a beginning coach, you're not expected to be at the MCC level. Um, but there's you got to you got to kind of get it and be moving in the right direction. But um, you're not expected to be masterful. So um, so it's always great to watch uh, MCC coaches. I, I just I love uh, kind of like fishbowl events or something where you're watching an MCC coach because you're like, oh, I get it. I totally understand. You know, that's how that competency shows up. So Jamie, thank you for being here. Why don't you tell folks um, how they can get in touch with you? You are a mentor coach. So if someone needed some mentor coaching, uh, where would they head to? Well, I, you can email me at jamie at jamietenzer.com. And I would love to uh, speak with anyone who's interested in mentoring. Wonderful. And I'll, I'll have your email down below so people can easily just click on that. Uh, but I want to thank you, Jamie, and thank you uh, to the viewers here for watching. Uh, I'm really excited to bring all these core competencies. We're getting near the end. So um, the next one up, though, is nine designing actions. So we're really getting into kind of an exciting part here. And if you're ready to go on to number nine, I just want you to go ahead and click up here because this will be number nine. Or go ahead, click down here, and you can see all of the competencies starting at the beginning. I'll see you in the next video.